Welcome back to Plus Trending on Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can join the conversation, okay? You can join the conversation by sending in your comments to us on WhatsApp or by dropping your comments on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram using the hashtag Plus Trending. So before we go on to much bigger trending topics, I'd like to touch on few hours ones real quick, okay? Yeah. Now, the Catholic Church trended during the week because it was reported that the Catholic Bishop Conference of Nigeria, that's the CBCN, donated all, not a few, but all of its 425 hospitals owned by the Catholic Church in Nigeria as COVID-19 isolation centers. Yes, the NCDC has said that no state in Nigeria has enough bed spaces for cases we currently have, but many Nigerians hope that the donations will help ease the burden a bit. Now, all state governors need to do is to approach the Catholic bishops in these states to access the facilities. So quite a number of people have suggested that churches and mosques donate their buildings or places of worship across the country to government to become isolation centers during this period. Do you agree? Do you want them to donate them? I mean, do you think it's a good idea? You can join the conversation. Just send in your comments to us on WhatsApp or post them on social media. That's Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram using the hashtag plus trending, and I personally will find them. Okay? Okay. So, moving on to another really big trending topic this week, hashtag Madagascar kill. Trended on Twitter and even you know, on Facebook here yeah, at the village because not too long ago, the country's president claimed that his country had discovered a cure for COVID-19, that the cure was invented by the Malagasy Institute of Applied Research and is a herbal drink called COVID Organics. Cool name, right? <laughs> now, uh, this is the really interesting part, okay? Now, reports claim that this herbal cure is primarily based on Artemisia, a plant that indigenously comes from China and was brought to Madagascar back in the 1970s. The plant is very similar to chloroquine because, and I promise you guys, I am not making this up, this plant's active compound is known as, or is a known anti-malarial treatment. Boom! Mind blow, right? <laughs> so how exactly does Madagascar cure affect Nigeria? I'll tell you. The president of Madagascar said some time ago that there have been 171 confirmed cases of the virus in Madagascar and 105 of those patients have been cured of COVID-19 using only COVID organics. Now with this news, many African countries started opening up to the possibilities of this herbal mixture or the possibilities it holds. Nigeria is one of these countries. Tanzania, Guinea-Bissau and Republic of Congo have also indicated interest in the herbal remedy. It was rumored also on social media that, Nigeria's, that Nigeria begged Madagascar to donate several packs of COVID organics to us. And the shipment had even arrived in Nigeria some days ago. It was also rumored that Nigeria even sent some of this, you know, this shipment to Chad Republic as the kind-hearted people that we are. Abi, yeah. Well, Boss Mustafa, on behalf of the federal government, says that Nigeria did not beg Madagascar to supply the herbal medicine to Nigeria. Or Madagascar actually offered to donate to Nigeria in the spirit of, you know, African brotherhood. And Nigeria, of course, accepted the gift. In fact, Boss Mustafa says that the Madagascan government decided the earliest quantities meant for African countries. The consignment meant for West Africa was taken to Guinea-Bissau. And to every ECOWAS country, they were asked to go to Guinea-Bissau to pick up their own shipment. The Nigerian ambassador has been asked to pick up ones that are meant for Nigeria and get it into the country as soon as possible. As far as homegrown remedies or cures concerning um, uh, with regards to COVID-19, the scientists and researchers have been advised to take their proposed cure to NAVDAC for proper verification and approval. We actually spoke with Mojisola Adeyeye, the DG of NAVDAC, about whether or not the institute was supporting the research for COVID-19 cures within Nigeria, and she had this to say. I'm a proponent of uh, In fact, we started... Uh, Aba Medicine Product Committee last year, uh, March, in NAVDAC is a national committee. So that's how committed NAVDAC is uh, to herbal medicines. But in relation with uh, uh, COVID-19, uh, we have not gotten any application yet. There have been interests uh, that have been expressed, and we are waiting as we speak for them to submit their uh, protocol, uh, which we will review. Uh, and uh, if it passes uh, the review protest, 
then they can go ahead for the uh, clinical trials. But before clinical trials, the product has to be listed, meaning we have to conduct safety tests. NAPDAC has to conduct a safety test. Uh, if, it is well, if it is a very promising uh, candidate, we can expedite uh, the safety uh, test. And then, you know, the clinical trial may proceed. But right now, we just got interest, not applications yet. So for that one person, yeah, saying, Madagascar, hmm, isn't that a country or a state in Brazil? Hello, my friend. Madagascar is an island off the coast of South Af Southern Africa. Yeah, Africa. Remember these guys, yeah? These cartoon characters. Yeah, these ones. Yes, that Madagascar is this same Madagascar. And I don't think it is ironic, you get, that Africa of all continents in the world, with all the development and technology that we do not have, have found a possible cure to COVID-19. And it's not even a vaccine, yeah? It is a herbal drink. Now, I think it all, boils down, or it all boils down to encouraging local researchers to find a cure and not turn down ideas just because you hear the word herbal. Most people just assume that when you hear herbal, it equals, you know, that Baba in Hollywood movies with the white mask on his face, um, with grass on his waist, living in mud houses. I mean, come on, calm down, people. You know what? <sighs> Let's just go to the comments, okay? Yeah. First off is Nora on Twitter, and she says... Traditional medicine is our origin. We need to go back to our roots. God has blessed Madagascar with the cure. Let us embrace it. Okay, people, quick one, yeah? Mm -hmm. The Nigerian government says that it isn't approved. The cure isn't approved yet, okay? So it still needs to undergo several testing, okay? Yeah, so calm down. Next stop is Odun 42000, and it says... African countries will not take Madagascar cure seriously because they are waiting for Americans, the EU, or Chinese to produce vaccines. We go get sense, last, last. Again, okay, I said this before, NAFDAQ has confirmed that it is supporting the research or search for local remedies to COVID-19. So if you have a potential cure, just go to the appropriate authorities and have your um, potential cure tested by the appropriate authorities. It's that simple, Abi. I say it's simple. Anyway, here are more comments and reactions from social media. So we'll go on our final break, and when we return, it will be me, you, and more plus trending. So do stay tuned.